Sharador uh, Neil O'Donnell. Um, Carlock, I want to set, set, set my comments uh, in the context of the earlier contribution from uh, Senator uh, Kevin Humphreys. Um, I think it's fairly telling that at a time of such significant political crisis uh, in the North uh, and potential for uh, instability, uh, I wonder was it the SDLP or perhaps the remnants of the sticks who phoned him to let him know there was an election uh, coming up and he had to get into Sinn Féin. Um, I think that's fairly telling uh, that when we talk about perhaps he's of the same view as Arlene Foster who tells us we're in for a brutal uh, a laxing campaign. But I do think it is telling um, that uh, senators would come in here uh, during the climate that we're facing in the north and those of us who are trying to offer uh, rational uh, and coherent and responsible leadership. Uh, and I think it's important to put on record that unlike field TDs like Senator Humphreys um, and indeed current senators, Sinn Féin MPs don't get a salary. They don't get any golden handshakes. They won't get any pension as a result uh, of being elected. Uh, and of course, I would remind members that Sinn Féin MPs are mandated not to take their seats at Westminster. So Fine Gael, who I, I wonder are they having a laugh when they issue press releases telling uh, Sinn Féin MPs to take their seats in Westminster when they don't even bother to seek election uh, in quite a significant part of our country. Um, I, I would remind them that we have bigger fish uh, to fry at this particular point in time, and that is where the focus uh, of all uh, our minds should be. But we are mandated not to take seats in Westminster, and unlike other parties, we won't be breaking promises that we give uh, to the electorate. Um, in terms of the situation in the north, one of the big things I think that has added to the reason of the tipping point, uh, Carlock, has been the ongoing series of uh, not just uh, words of disrespect, but also pretty uh, manifestations of, of, of uh, disrespect from the DUP over recent months. And that is most acutely seen in terms of their uh, mistreatment and disregard and disrespect for the Irish language and the Irish speaking population. Leader, I do think, and I, I acknowledge that the Minister is due to make statements uh, on the North on Thursday, but I do think as co-guarantors of the Good Friday, and in this case, the St Andrews uh, Agreement, um, the Irish speaking population in the North, and indeed the broader nationalist family, uh, are extremely energised uh, around this issue. The ten years after uh, St Andrews, uh, Adwin Poots of the DUP, in a further indication of disrespect and disregard, is now telling us that the DUP actually didn't sign up to an Irish Language Act at St Andrews. The British Secretary of State, James Brokenshire, who recently told us that the British government uh, own uh, Loch Foyle in its uh, entirety, uh, went on Morning Ireland uh, today to say that, no, 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 we need to command cross-community confidence uh, before we introduce uh, an Irish Language Act. So they're already regressing uh, and reversing the terms of that agreement which took place ten years ago. They're providing a cover for a unionist veto on this issue. I think it is way beyond time. Members, some responsibly, some irresponsibly, are pointing to the crisis uh, added uh, as a result of Brexit. Uh, I, I think it is past time that this government ceased being the hurler on the ditch. They need to step up, they need to be proactive, they need to be engaged, not just with the British government, uh, uh, but also the population in the north that says that this crisis hasn't fallen from the sky. Yeah. This crisis has come about as a result of ten years uh, of disrespect, uh, intolerable uh, to the point that it has reached uh, in the last number of weeks. And I think it is time that all of us collectively told the DUP that it's time for poking us in the eye is over and that we told the British government that they can no longer provide political cover for that. Oh